Hi, this is Kirk Smith with ICHE's Take 5. One question or one anxiety that many parents have, especially newcomers to homeschooling, is they're concerned there'll be gaps in their kids' education. And when that question is posed to me, I get a little sarcastic, and here's what I say. Well, I'm just glad I was public schooled, so there's no gaps in my education. And the parent starts processing their own experiences, and they realize how many gaps they have from the public school. As a matter of fact, the more that I'm a homeschooling father, even though I was a professional high school teacher, I see how many gaps that I had in my education. So the point is this. Every educative model has gaps, whether you public school, whether you private school, or whether you homeschool. And so what we as parents must come to grips with is what gaps can we live with and what gaps can we not live with. For example, uh, I want my kids to do well academically. I want them to do well, especially with people. But I can handle, say, a math gap or a science gap. What I can't handle is a spiritual gap. That if my kids know all the academics and they gain the whole world with six, seven-figure salaries and they lose their soul, what does it profit? And so we are first and foremost about plugging up the gap of the spiritual life. And of course, Christ must call our kids to salvation. Nevertheless, we want to do all that we can to, to move them in the proper direction. Secondly, some gaps can be filled later on. Uh, for instance, a couple of our, math is, our, is our weak subject. If you've heard me speak at all, you know that math is our weakness. It's our Achilles heel. It's our thorn in the flesh. And we've addressed, our kids all know the basics, multiplication, division, etc. But as they've went into college, if they've gone into college now, it seems like every time the first semester with the first child is always math. And so what's happened is this. We have to work really, really hard for six, eight, ten weeks. I mean, we have to work extra hard, probably more than some other people do. But what happens so far, our kids have gotten A's and high B's in math. And they've dealt with their math classes, and those gaps now have been closed in six or eight weeks. And here's my point. Most academic gaps can be closed at some point in the future, usually at a lot less expense and a lot less energy than we think. But as I say, each priority is home discipleship. If our kids have a gap that's spiritual, folks, all eternity might not close that gap. And so I want to encourage you today not to get overly concerned about what gaps your kids have. I'm not saying don't recognize them because we recognize we had a math gap. And we knew, we told our kids, we're weak in math. But we have the deepest conviction that knowledge and wisdom come from the fear of the Lord. And if we get seeking God's kingdom down first, math, science, history, all these things will follow after that. So, as you're thinking about gaps today, parents, you have to make a decision what gaps can you live with and what gaps you cannot. You have to understand no matter what educative model you use, there will be gaps. Fortunately, in the home discipleship uh, educative model, we have a, a more uh, sensitivity to shoring up that spiritual gap because we believe, again, everything flows out of the Spirit of God. And so that takes care of our gap theory. I do want to encourage and invite everybody down to Mount Vernon, Illinois on August the 27th for the Southern Illinois uh, Family Day. It's a day of uh, food, fellowship, and fun. You can go to our website at www.ice.org and register. The event is free. Donations are accepted. We would love to have you come down for that event on August 27th. God bless. This is Kirk Smith with Take 5.